Um, you have bought your uh, telescope. This is a Star a Skywatcher Star Travel 80 millimeter. Is a good uh, grab and go telescope. Um, the mechanics of it is really good, solid. It has a finder scope. Uh, objective lens is 80 millimeter. To have such a thing in the past was a dream. Um, three inch or 75 millimeter was uh, the maximum you could afford in 1970s or 80s. Now, thanks to the you know economic miracle of the China, we can afford all these telescopes at a very good price, reasonable price. Now, uh, what you uh, can actually use with this telescope, what uh, eyepieces you want. Uh, usually the eyepieces that come with the telescopes are actually uh, optimized for the telescope that you get. So something like this uh, Skywatcher Super 26 wide angle long eye relief eyepiece are really good. They're lightweight, they're optimized for this and they have a sharp image all across almost. Uh, so I don't think that you will need anything more than this for the wide angle view when you start to observe. And there is also 10 millimeter of it. Then you can get also a borrow lens for this. It comes with a package and two times borrow. You can actually make this, uh, you know, how the borrow works, of course. Uh, borrow, the magnification of it doubles everything that is on the focal length of the eyepiece. Focal length is 26, uh, 25 millimeter here. So double that amount or half it practically it makes it double the focal length. So half the uh, magnification. So that is 25. That becomes divided by two, 12 and a half millimeter. So and with the 10 millimeter one, you can actually have a, a 10 divided by two. You can have a five millimeter. This is you know, but this is a very wide angle telescope first. So you need high magnification for looking at the planets like Jupiter and uh, Saturn. So five is a good magnification. Yeah, so you will be really good uh, and well equipped if you just go for what the manufacturer has included with the telescope. But in the case that if you wanted to upgrade to something, uh, what are your options? Let me just show you a few. So the first thing probably you will think is to go really budget and get something like a zoom eyepiece. It has everything in one package. So practically zoom eyepiece, this one is from seven and a half to 22.5 millimeter. It's a good option uh, when you don't want to carry more than one eyepiece with yourself. That's the best thing you can have other than the, what the manufacturer has provided. So this zoom eyepiece is really good if you can, uh, you know, just justify it. The only thing is that you have to change the, you know, when you want to magnify, uh, you have to twist this. And sometimes uh, it may, uh, you know, just a little bit uh, change the um, uh, view of the telescope slightly to, to you know, knock the uh, telescope from the target. But anyway, it's a wide angle uh, telescope, this uh, Star Travel 80. So it doesn't make much uh, difference. So you you will be well off with this zoom if you just choose that. But if you wanted something really wide angle, other than 25 or 22 and a half that this provides you, a low magnification, I should say, a 40 millimeter eyepiece, this one is mid, you can get from Celestron. And there are many other ones, they're all the same. They're all built in, you know, in the same factories, probably in China. Optical uh, companies in China are very good. If you wanted a little bit more clear view than what the um, sharpest view, I should say, what the 25 millimeter was providing you, uh, I recommend the ortho orthoscopic eyepiece. 25 millimeter is a really good. Uh, I don't, I have not seen orthoscopic eyepiece more than 25. Uh, really good. Um, you can get them cheap, but they're second hand usually. This one is Vixen, so it's quite good, made in Japan. And uh, the maximum field of view, or maximum, uh, yeah, field of view, what you can see, the circle of what you can see in the sky, the size of it, is uh, 32 usually. So 32 millimeter plus all eyepieces, like these ones, are perfect. Uh, this is the eyepiece I use with every telescope uh, and is unbranded. 
just for finding the target in the sky as you can see here even here now look how how low magnification it is it gives you the widest field of view with the star travel that is perfect for finding extended objects finding the target that you are looking for then changing to a lower magnification when you have found it so i recommend this is an unbranded chinese one cheap for the, uh, the price of a chocolate box or something like that very cheap you can get also second hand ones if you find something something like this plus or 20 millimeter is a little bit higher magnification <clears throat> and uh, the same with the 25 millimeter meat these eyepieces are amazing this one is called aspheric sv bony or um, you can see with the celestron also they have another name vita i think they call it these are aspheric the lens is molded in a shape a specific shape that gives really clarity clear image and i've seen one of the sharpest views of the moon with this 10 millimeter there's a four millimeter one also and 23 millimeter of it is really good the angle of view the field of view of this is 62 so really good cheap cheap i get chips but if you want to spend money <clears throat> and you have the money to spend uh, you can go for something like Teleview 24 millimeter panoptic. This gives you 68 degrees IP, uh, field of view. This is practically the widest field of view you can get in any, you know, eyepiece uh, in the barrel size of a 1.25 inch, around 31 millimeter. This gives you the best. This is the best practically. Uh, expensive, uh, depending where you are, it can be anything between 200 to 300 uh, dollar or pound or the unit of your currency and uh, therefore something similar to that a slightly narrower field of view but a view as good as that you can use a microscope eyepiece like this Zeiss one they're really available cheap and I'm really delighted with this eyepiece I use it to observe the comet ZTF really this is a good discovery I made and I'm really happy with that it is a Zeiss, it is cheap, and the uh, field of view is around 62 degrees, I think, or 65. Very similar to this uh, panoptic one in the sense of field of view. Uh, yet you can go for Nagler. This is a four millimeter Nagler. There is a, uh, this is of course Nirvana. Nagler one are these ones. Uh, this one is Teleview Nagler, type six, five millimeter. Very good sharp views of the planets you can have. Uh, similar to this are Nirvana. These are made by the Helios or, uh, or Skywatcher or different names. You can find them in AliExpress or anywhere in your country. You can find them in where they have secondhand IP sales. And uh, also Teleview 7mm. The sharpest field of view with this Teleview 7mm I found and even sharper than that is this Takahashi. If you want to go for the ultimate, in my point of view, go for this one, seven and a half millimeter, slightly cheaper than the Nagler, and uh, yet very sharp. There are uh, five millimeter, I have not that one, I have seven and a half, I have the 12 and a half, and I have an 18 millimeter one. These are really good eyepieces. Of course, you will not lose anything if you just go for anything like these cheaper ones or even the eyepieces that came with your telescope. The most important thing is that you use them to observe. The best eyepiece, the best telescope is the one you can use easier. Something that doesn't, you know, make you feel that yo, you don't want to use it because uh, it is expensive like this one. It falls and you will feel regretful why you dropped it. These ones are cheap. Even if they fall, they don't get damaged much. Unless you really drop it under a car or something. So I recommend plus light pieces are the best if you can uh, live with it. They are really good. 52 degrees field of view. And you have a large options with them. 40 millimeter and others. So these are the tele uh, eyepieces you can use with the star travel. Now you may ask why I am using this eyepiece and this. This is just a cheap eyepiece I got. It's the Orion Expanse. The 9mm of it is very good, but 6mm uh, also. This 20mm I just use it for because it's blue. With the blue of the color of this, it just looks nice. 
on display.